What's good guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a POV with my brand new lens. It is the Sony 70-200 f2.8 Mark II edition. I have always wanted a 70-200mm lens, but it's always been out of reach. It's always been simply too expensive and I've never been able to justify buying one. But I made it my goal in 2022 to finally be able to afford one of these things and have it in my camera bag. And I can't believe I have finally got one. So today we're going to be going out and shooting with it for the very first time. And I thought I'd take it to one of my favourite cities, the city of Manchester, to see what this beast can do. I can't wait for this and I can't believe I finally got one. It's like a dream lens for me. I know it might sound a bit weird, but I've just always wanted one of these for as long as I can remember. So to finally have one, oh, it's insane. And at the end of today's video, we are going to be having a look through the hashtag CP Photos. It's a great opportunity for you guys to meet other content creators using it. And at the end of every video, I'll have a look through it and see what you guys are creating. But without any more delay, let's just jump straight in and see what we can create with this beast. All right, so this is where I'm starting today's POV with a 70 to 200. We have got the great city of Manchester, a lot to play with today. So let's just jump straight into it and start creating some great content. I cannot wait to finally start shooting with this lens. Also, it's not incognito at all. I really do stand out. <laughs> also, I'm joined by Camera Lizard, Jack. Link in the description below. Go and check out his content. Yeah, look at oh my god. <laughs> this is incognito mode. This is just like you, yeah. you. Well, this is the thing. I can't be sneaky with this now because you're there with that. No, and I'm wearing a yellow coat. <laughs> it really doesn't help. <laughs> Let's jump straight in, get a photo of the tram. 200 mil f2.8 already looking glorious results and absolute bangers already oh i'm going to be trying to shoot as much as possible today with 200 mil at f2.8 jumping behind the tram actually I'm going to, have to step back i forgot how punched in 200 mil is <laughs> look at that right there nice and let's see if we can get someone going on to the platform nice that looks great Oh, it looks so good. I spotted this guy here. I see a little bit of a reflection. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to get the reflection, but that is a great photograph right there. Oh, now, this is the perfect lens to get cafe shots of people because you could just be straight across the street from them, not have to be too close, and just get some absolute bangers. So I'm going to get straight on with this guy here. Oh, stunning, stunning stuff. It's insane! It's insane! We uh, wait for the tram to get a bit closer. So I'm going to get a photo of a singular subject crossing the road, hopefully. Face focus is picking up quite nicely. Actually, I'm going to jump in and get the tram first. So, I'm going to go right down. He's going to beep at me in a second, probably. We got the shot right there. Oh, 200 mil. Also, we got a subject walking right in front of it. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wowzers, this lens. Okay, I've got a taxi right here. So what I'm going to do, go low to the ground and just got to wait for a moment and take that shot right there. Fill the frame of it as well to get to it pretty spectacular. That looks great, honestly, this lens. And it's so sharp, honestly. This 7200 is, well, I think the sharpest lens I've got and you'd hope so for the price I paid for it. <laughs> you better do well. <laughs> you better do well. If not, you're going in the Thames. <laughs> and that's nowhere near here. <laughs> so the whole uh, point of today's POV is there's no real objective to it. We've just come out to Manchester because it's a great place for photography. We've got the trams, lots of people, great architecture, even though probably a bit difficult to do architecture with this uh, particular <laughs> lens. Uh, but nevertheless, there's hopefully going to be a lot of great options for photography. And also, I just wanted to give this um, lens a spin in one of my favourite cities. Also, we've got a bit of a reflection here. I wonder if we can get that woman over there. Nope. Yes. At 70 mil, maybe. I've got a little bit of a reflection, can I climb? <laughs> yeah, you need to be about... Like, 50 you know, weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're going to punch in at this shot, 200 mil. I just like the architecture on the building over there. That is grand. 
pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Okay, this is a real cool shot here. We've got the uh, CIS building all the way over there. Try it punching to about there, shooting at about 135 mil and getting the leading lines in there. And we're getting that shot right there. That looks pretty good. Oh, this, this is the great lens for this. You could just people watch and just wait for them to walk towards you. And they don't even realize you're taking photos of them. This is a great lens for stuff like that. If you are socially awkward, this lens is perfect for you. <laughs> right, so we're now in the city center area of uh, Manchester. Now the first thing I want to do is try and wait for a tram to come down here because we've got the buildings all the way in the background there. And if I get out 200 mil, I'll get real nice compression and a yellow tram right there. It will stand out and create a great composite. Get a photo of this lady right here. Pretty cool photograph. See if I can just punch in and be about here. There we go. Oh, look at the compression on that shot. Got a photo of the woman crossing the road there quickly whilst we wait for the tram. This is the shot we've been waiting for. That looks pretty awesome right there. I think we got the shot, the compression, the colours, everything about that looks ace. Okay, and Jack, could you pretend you're about to walk in the puddle? I genuinely thought it was going to try and splash you. I mean, it looks interesting. Oh, I like that. I like my boots. Nice boots. What's yeah, happened? Boots. I'm liking this shot right here with two trams together. Oh, that is a great shot right there. I just shot a burst right there and oh, that looks so cool. We will take a bit of that. Wow. Oh, that's nice. That is really cool. That is what I've been looking for. We've got some people here, people watching. Oh, I love this. And the eye focus and the face focus is working so well on the Sony a7 IV. The focus on the 7200 is insane. We're going to be getting a lot more of that great content today. I'm going to try and wait and get another shot here. I love that. I love that it's on the left of frame right there. It'd be great if we got some people walking in. We have the right there. Get that subject on the own. We are getting some good stuff. I am happy. You can't see my smile today, but I've got a massive smile on shooting with this lens. Confirm. You can confirm. I can confirm. Smile activated. Okay, I don't know why I've never thought of this idea before, but we've got the yellow lines here. We've got a tram coming. I'm going to use that as a leading line for the yellow tram. I actually weirdly like this shot right here. That is a weirdly nice shot with it just out of focus. Yeah, I got it. There we go. Got the photograph we wanted and that looks pretty. Oh, we will say that, that is dope. Oh, this is a really cool shot of this dude right here. Oh, the compression with the F2.8 at 200 mil is something special right there. Oh, I am so satisfied with that photograph. Okay, so for those photographs, what I was focusing on are people's feet going on and off the, uh, off the tram. And I think we got a couple of cool shots there. I think this right here is one of my favorite frames in Manchester, because you can get such cool shots with the trams, with the background, with any focal length. But I'm going to shoot this at 200 mil, f2.8, and look at that shot right there. Stunning with the background. And I just got that person walking in front of it as well. And both of them look really cool. I tell you, this place here is fantastic for photography. Okay, we've walked so far down this canal, I think we've accidentally ended up in Scotland. And I'm not complaining, but they're walking down here. The guy is playing these amazing, I'll just say instruments. And um, we're going to get some photos of them. Oh wow, I've got a photo of it. You've got a photo of the bee with that? Yeah, look. That's <laughs> <laughs> so mad. I can't believe I got that shot. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, dude, you should like hold your camera up in front of the people. <sighs> All right, so uh, we're currently at one of my favorite looking stores in Manchester. It's this Northern Flower. As you can see, it's super vibrant, super clean, and you can get a great photograph of it. So just come down to the street a bit. I'm going to punch into about, what am I at, 135 mil, and just get a shot like so. Then I'm going to step back a little bit, and I'm going to use these yellow lines as a leading line up to the building, zoom out a bit, and get that shot right there. And that looks 
Pretty nice. I will take that. I like that shot. What a lovely look looking place as well. It's so, it's almost just out of nowhere as well. Right, I'm just going to grab a photo of this one right here. That's pretty cool right there. I like that composite right there. That looks really nice. All right, let's see what else we can go and capture. I'm going to grab a, per a photo of the person with the tram right there. Yes. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you very much for waiting. Thank you. It's a really nice shot right there. All right, surprise, surprise right here. We're going to get another photograph of a tram here. That is a real cool frame right there. We will grab that shot right there. That's a good composite. Got a few good shots there. I like the different angles I was able to grab from that. Right, let's see if we can grab this shot. Hey, look at that. I've now become a wedding photographer for a day, very quickly, just for that one shot. Pay me five to hundred pounds, please. I feel like in this POV, I just need to grab more photographs because any time I shoot at 200 mil and at f2.8 and I get that compression with that shallow depth of field, I just feel so satisfied. It looks amazing and I just want more of that and I just want to keep showing more of it because it looks fantastic. I wonder if I can like get someone like walking. And right there, that was pretty cool. How did we get that? He was looking at me, which I don't know if I like or hate, <laughs> but it's something at least. I'm waiting. There's a Ferrari 488 I've just seen behind. I'm going to get a photo of the headlight right here. Uh, just focus on it and get some real nice compression in the background. That's pretty cool. We've got a a few good shots there. I don't think it's going to be there quick enough. No! Come on! A little bit more! A little bit more! I think I got it. Did I get it? Did I get the shot? Please say I got the shot. I, I would be so annoyed if I didn't. Oh, I think I did. I think I got the shot finally of two of them together. And you know what? It ain't bad. Oh, wait. That one right there. That is stunning. Yes, I think I did get the shot and I am satisfied. Woo! Yay! Oh, we've got a tram crossing the bridge here. Uh, let's just grab that right there. Lovely stuff. Oh, I'm looking forward to doing so many more POVs with this lens. What about these uh, two people here on their phones, not talking to each other? Being next to each other, but not talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, these two people right next to each other are actually just texting each other. There you go, that is, um, that is social media for you. <laughs> to get a photo of this couple right here. Oh, they look so sweet. I know, look lovely together. There you go. She looks kind of bored. Oh, traffic warden. People's least favorite people. There we go. That's a cool composition right there. Nice leading line with the wall as well, straight to him. And we've got a bit of red in the background as well, which kind of stands out. So one thing you could do when you have like a telephoto lens like this is you could just wait for subjects to come to you. And sometimes it doesn't even look like you're taking photos of them. So this couple of people right here, even though they just pointed directly towards me, um, I was able to get a really quick photo of them. But sometimes you could just be so incognito, just stand at the sidelines and get the shots you want, shooting at like a longer focal length. So it's great for situations like this as well. Also, look at the BOEC on this lens. That is looking pretty good at f2.8 all the way zoomed in. It's really nice, really smooth, buttery smooth. There's a guy there looking really bored on top of the bus. Can I get him? Auto focus, yes. Work to treat right there to get that photograph. All right, I'm gonna get a quick photograph of this guy right here who's just waiting for a bus, chilling. Uh, focus right there, get that shot. Now there is one idea I have here which depends on getting a bus to go past. So what I'm going to do, if I can, is I'm going to put the camera in manual focus, keep it at the same distance, and then when a bus goes past, just fire like mad, be in manual focus, and hopefully we get him through the windows. But it just relies on us getting a bus to go through. Right, manual focus, start firing. Oh, I think that was actually better because he stood up. Let's have a look. Oh, we got some it there. Oh, there, there, that frame. That frame right there is the perfect one. We got the shot we were looking for. That was actually a good concept. I like that and we got the shot we wanted. Nice. All right, so for this next shot, I just want to try out the BOEC at 200 mil because we've got some great BOEC in the background. And uh, with 200 mil F2.8, this, oh, that does look real nice. There is some real nice BOEC coming from this lens right here. Oh, that is nice. I'm gonna get a cool shot here of this uh, mirror 
I look at the Boak in the background, that looks so sick. We'll take a little bit of that. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you another tram. Original, right? <laughs> Down low, wait for it. Wait for it to get full in frame. Nice. Then we've got another one. Lovely jubbly. And we'll get this photograph right here. I'll be able to throw a real nice color grade on that, let like a blue one to really make that pop. Another tram photo. Throw the frame of that one. You can get a quick photo of this uh, couple right here with the uh, nice burwick in the background. I feel like I could get a bit closer to them if I... Uh, right there, got a cool shot. Nice colour grade on that. Job be a good one. Right, the tones on this photograph here of just this building look great. At 70 mil, that looks fantastic. Oh, and we've got some people at the bottom of the frame as well, which looks awesome as well. Okay, guys, so that is where I'm going to have to leave today's POV video. I've been shooting pretty much all day, but I am in love with this Sony 7200. It is amazing. I've had to force myself to stop doing photography with it because it's just so addicting. Uh, but before we end today's video, we are going to have a look at the hashtag CP photos. All right, so that is all the photography I've got to share with you using this lens today. And... Um, I love it. I know I've probably said it throughout today's video, but I am genuinely so happy and can't believe I've got this in my camera bag. So I'm going to be doing plenty more POVs and shooting with this thing. Uh, and yeah, it is it's awesome. So the last thing to do today is have a look through the hashtag at CP photos and see what you guys are creating. So let me turn on screen recording and let's jump straight into it. So we're going to start and look at a few of the uh, top images. So the first one is this one by Aspect X of this Ferrari. Really like the composition here, like the um, compression you've got in the background and real nice color grade on this photograph. Uh, I like this one as well by Vin. I like the kind of scale you've got going on with this image. You've got the people all the way at the bottom, then you've got the houses, and then you've got the cliffs as well. It's a nice progression with that photograph. Awesome, love it. And then I also like this one here by Dynamo, Dublin Island. I uh, absolutely love this photograph. It's a really cool composite, real simple frame, but the colors have been well executed, and I must visit Dublin. A lot of people have told me it is awesome for photography, so I've got to get myself over there one day. And we'll have a look at one more from top and then we'll jump into recent and we'll have a look at this one by Dan of this uh, deer here. Real cool photograph. Love me a bit of wildlife photography. To be fair, I could get a two times teleconverter for that lens there and make it a 400 mil lens. So maybe might do that, venture down there a little bit. Awesome shot. And now let's jump into recent and we'll have a start and look at this one. I like this one by um, Dio. Um, I love this kind of like idea and this whole like uh, execution of this photograph with the people rushing around all around them. I think you've done it in post, but the effect is still really cool because it's like one person standing still and then everyone else is still rushing around, just showing like a passage of time. It's a really cool concept, really well executed. Uh, the next photograph we'll have a look at, we'll have a look at this one right here. I like this one by Sam. Uh, I kind of like this one because, well, it's an umbrella, which is always a win, but her face is covered from her eyes, so it makes a little bit of mystery to the photograph. And that's, I think, uh, exacerbated by having this foreground element right here. It creates a sense of mystery, I guess. That might be just me, me reading into a very simple city street photo way too much, but I also just like the whole composition, the colour grading, the uh, compression as well. Great shot, Sam. Really like what you've done there. There's this one right here is awesome by Outguess. I might be absolutely butchering that. Really cool leading line shot of this bridge, the train tracks, the bridge, the architecture, the red, all combinates together to make a really awesome frame. And the last photograph we're gonna have a look at today, I'm gonna go with this one right here by MTJ underscore visuals. Real cool shot right here. Real nice uh, color grading you've put onto this photograph. And I like that you've got a bit of foreground as well. And the taxi driver is really well lit as well. Probably maybe from a sign or something like that, but really cool shot, real like it. Awesome work. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone continuing to use the hashtag. If you want a chance of your work being featured here on the channel, make sure you do go and use it over on Instagram and go and interact with all the other people using it. You'll meet a lot of awesome content creators who all share the same passion and love 
for content creating, photography, everything like that. So yeah, go and make sure you into other people and see what others are creating as well. And that's where I'm gonna be leaving today's video, guys. If you did like it, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release a new video. It really does support and help the channel. But until next time, keep creating and I'll see you in the next one. Later.